An important component in analog systems is the filter. In this section, we're going to measure the uh, frequency response of an HF cutoff filter. To achieve this, we're going to generate a sweep waveform and then measure it, the response on the channel A input. So first thing is to set up the uh, generator and we're going to generate frequencies from 200 hertz at the uh, low frequency end. I'm going to sweep it up to 20 kilohertz at the uh, HF end. And I'm going to set the frequency increment to uh, 200 hertz. And again, this will give a fast response for testing. And I'm going to set the uh, time interval to uh, 50 microseconds, again to give a fast uh, frequency sweep time. So here we now we can see the uh, waveform sweeping. So the first thing I notice now is there's a, uh, a warning here that it's over-ranging. So I'm going to change the uh, input sensitivity to uh, 2 volts. In fact, that's, uh, that's OK. In fact, we could probably go down uh, one more range to 1 volt to give the best vertical resolution on the measurement. I'm going to set the uh, time base to, uh, say, 200 microseconds, so we can... Uh, view the sweeping waveform and I'm going to set the uh, record length in fact down to 500 points again uh, this is a trade-off between resolution and um, acquisition time so to give a very fast visual uh, acquisition time now I'm going to set it just to uh, 500 sample points so that is the uh, generator set up and the final thing I'm going to do now is to set up the a spectrum mode so we can make a measurement of the frequency response. So to achieve this, I'm going to add a uh, second view. So I'm going to make it two viewports. So here we have viewport one and two. And in viewport two, I'm going to add a spectrum display. So now here we see the uh, spectrum display and the time display in the upper panel. So and I'm going to set up the uh, spectrum now. I'm going to use... Uh, um, 256 bins. Again, this is a trade-off again between resolution and response time. And I'm going to set the uh, window function to flat top. And rather than magnitude, I'm going to select peak hold and apply and have a log display and apply those changes. And now here straight away we can actually see uh, the response of the filter. So here we can see the HF filter. This is the 20 kilohertz, and this is down at the 200 hertz where we started the sweep, and immediately we can now see, and we can in fact measure the, the roll-off. So I could say put on um, some cursors, so from the peak down to the cutoff point, that is in fact 16 dBs of a cutoff there. But to, uh, to, just to illustrate the acquisition time, I'll stop the acquisition and restart it. And here we can see how quickly it builds up that display. And in fact, if I just finally I'll switch out the filter so we're going to have a flat response. And there again, we can now see the, the amplifier without the filter in with a flat response.